What's up guys? Welcome to Drake on Digital and thanks for tuning in guys. We are going to go over a token called Rev. Why are we going over this token? All right guys, I used to be a really big gamer and I really want to go over this token because I found a lot of value in it. I know a lot of people are like, oh NFTs, NFT this, NFT that. Well, this is a little different. This is somewhat of an NFT. However, with this, this is allowing a gamer who spends all his time in the metaverse and makes no money out of it. This is allowing people to make money with it. Let me go ahead and explain. This is why I was so bullish on sand when it was only three pennies and now it's like way more. Um, Rev, I wish I saw this project sooner. Uh, the guy, really smart guy. I love the guy. He actually used to work over at Atari. Really, really, really smart guy. Um, we're actually going to explain it, talk about it today, and I'll also show you guys a little demo on what the game looks like. So here's a couple of tokenomics. Uh, we got a maximum supply of 3 billion and a circulating, we'll just call it 221 million. So what do they do? Well, let's first go over the holders. So you guys can see the wallet address are steadily growing, which is good. And you guys can see, okay, there are a lot of these. This is actually um, different partnerships that they have, and I'll explain it. So for the most part, it is somewhat distributed pretty well. Um, but again, like I said, we'll go ahead and explain it. There are a couple of other tokens like this, and there's the Atari token, which is right here. We're not going to go over that token today. We're going to go over the Rev. So the same guys who created Rev, these guys um, created the SAN token. So the reason why this is important is you guys saw what happened with Chili's. So these Rev is actually partnered with Chili's. So they are actually partnered with uh, Formula One Racing as well. And what is so special about this partnership? Well, they have an integration called Delta Time. With these Rev tokens, you can actually purchase vehicles. Now, why is this so special? Well, you can actually stake your vehicles and earn Rev tokens for it. And the reason why you earn rev tokens for staking these vehicles, and sorry guys, I have ADD, so these videos are going to be out of order, but watch the whole video and you get the whole grasp of the concept and you get the whole idea of the uh, F1 Delta time, or I'm sorry, the uh, rev token. So when you stake these vehicles, someone else on the other end is actually borrowing your vehicle and racing with it. They're legitimately racing with it. Like... An actual video game it is so cool guys it is revolutionary it is a game changer in my opinion guys these are nft digital race cars <laughs> this is awesome i love it gotta love cryptocurrency but basically when you're staking these uh rev or these cars you are actually earning rev tokens for it there's a limited amount of cars in the ecosystem so in order for some people to race and they have to pay rev tokens to get into the race, they actually win rev tokens for winning the race. So guys, this is literally like NASCAR. So have, have you guys ever watched the NASCAR cars just driving, and then you're like, bro, this is so cool. Now you can actually participate, guys. This is one of those things like you're fat and ugly and um, a loser in the world. You can go into the metaverse and become like the coolest person in the world. This is why Ready Player One um, was like one of the most popular movies uh, is because people that, that gravitated towards people because sometimes they look down and they're like, man, my stomach is like 40 inches bigger than it should be. Or man, I really don't like how I'm, um, so, I mean, for some people, believe it or not, man, I don't like how I'm a girl or how I'm a guy. I, you know, I don't, that's, that's whatever you think. That's fine. But um, I, I don't know. God blessed you with the body he gave you and you should take what you have and just be happy with it, what you have in my opinion. But still people don't grasp that in their mind and the reason why I like this one is because I used to play a lot of video games. Not because um, I, I was unhappy with my life but because I like playing video games. They were fun. But this allows you to do that so you can play the video games and actually earn money for it. So this can be a job for some people. And why is this important? Well, a lot of people are laid off with coronavirus, and this is a new way you can make money. Go race some cars. <laughs> race some cars, earn some rev tokens. Anyways, so you stake these cars, and you can earn some rev tokens for it. And uh, that's if you buy a car. Now, these cars are very expensive. You can purchase a car, 
Um, I'm not going to show you guys how to purchase a car. I'm kind of just showing you guys the platform. And you can go to the workshop. You can buy like a power unit, turbocharger. So basically, you can juice up your car. But everything you do in the cryptosphere, you do need to have rev tokens or on this game. And you can go to the garage, find all these different things. You got cars, drivers. Um, all I, I have no items. I I'm I didn't buy anything. So I'm just telling you how it works. I don't know why they spell tires like that. I, I guess that's how you spell tires. Um, but in my opinion, it's not. Uh, it's T I E R S. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that's right. Um, uh, but anyways, guys. <sighs> I'm very bullish on this project. Really interesting. Um, let me go over the white paper real quick. Uh, I, I really don't even need to go into the white paper, but basically, all I recommend you guys take a look at it. Uh, Anna Monica Brands is behind this, and basically, the people who developed Anna Monica Brands, they know what they're doing, guys. The guy used to work at Atari. These guys actually have a partnership with Atari as well. They have so many big brands behind this. Uh, Rev, you guys have to check this one out. This is something that's like really interesting. There's a limited supply. This has that feel to Chili's to me, except this is like Formula One racing slash gaming, and it has like the sand uh, currency feel. But uh, guys, guys, this is my opinion on the project. You do what you need to do. Um, here are their advisors. So this guy or this girl, uh, Holly, she co-founded Kabam or Kabam, whatever. Um, this guy was in Microsoft Games. Uh, this guy over here, he was in uh, co-founder of the Raven Protocol. Uh, if you guys don't know what that is, uh, it's basically tokenizing assets. So really cool. Um, th they got a lot of smart people on here, but this, in my opinion, is the. I, I love this guy. This guy is killer. I'd love to have him on the channel. If you guys are able to go ahead and direct message him, talk to him, uh, see if you can get him on the channel. I'll do a full interview with him. I'll ask whatever questions you guys want to ask. Just say, hey, leave it in the Telegram chat. In the Digi Squad, I'll, I'll ask those questions on top of mine. But Yatsu, he is a genius, guys. He, he is figuring out like, so first you have an NFT. An NFT, really, okay, that's great. I have a painting. But now this is the ability for you have gamers who are spending so much money on these skins in like, um, what is that game called? Fortnite or something? But you don't own these skins. So yet these people are spending so much money on these skins, but they don't own them. So what Yatsu, he understands that. I understand that too. So when you're paying for these uh, assets, you can either pay $10,000 for a stinking skin and never get your money back, or you can pay $10,000 for a red vehicle or a piece of land in the sand cryptosphere and you can sell your land for later and get your money back and go to another video game and buy something else. Or you can bring your sand somewhere else. It's the same thing with the rev token. It's being used for everything that's motorsports. So this is not just Formula One racing. They're gonna come, come out with a motorcycle one. Um, I can't remember what it was called. It's like G1 racing or something like that. Um, and then there's going to be other ones. Oh, MotoGP. See, right there. And then there's going to be other ones that come out too. They got a lot of things in the work. There's Anna Monica Brands. They are a partner with um, Atari, Genesis Block, and they have several other uh, backers and they have several other licenses. Uh, so they're actually able to use it, just like Formula One. That's a well-known brand. Everyone knows about Formula One. Guys, check out their Twitter page. Go ahead and look at it. Take a look. Dude, these cars are sweet. That's so cool. That reminds me of um, Ready Player One. Awesome. But anyways, guys, you guys kind of get the concept. You guys can play around the Twitter, uh, play around with the game. Let me go ahead and show you the demo of what the game looks like. Let's play the demo. See, it's a top-down kind of chase view of the car. Um, so we're heading now to the last couple corners through Rascast, so we're getting ready to set up a lap. Uh, so using the up arrow key to accelerate, D to activate DRS as we come down to turn one. Heavy braking using down arrow key, then back on the gas, up bow rivage. Coming now to Massonet, nice and quick through here. Then a quick dab of the brake through Casino just to get the change of direction. Heavy on the brakes from Mirabeau, not to run too wide. Then nice and patient here through the hotel hairpin. Uh, coming now to, uh, to, to the tunnel, nice and flat out through the tunnel. 
as we pop out the other side, getting ready for another heavy breaking zone. It's the Nouvelle Chicane. Coming out there, we're going to head through to back, another fast section of the circuit. Uh, then just a lift into the uh, swimming pool section. Um, not to run too wide there, you might clip the wall. So through Raskas now, heavy on the brakes, setting up for the last corner, a little bit slow out of there. D again to activate DRS, and there you go, guys. That's a lap of the Monaco Grand Prix circuit in the brand new F1 Delta Time Grand Prix game. So I hope you enjoyed that. Hope you're excited about the release, and I'll see you on track very soon. All right, again, so we're going to talk about the token economy. I uh, hope you guys like that demo. Lots of fun. Um, try it up. Earn some uh, rev tokens. Go rent a car and have some fun. Uh, so the game is designed to around the finite nature of tokens. So basically, there's a limited supply driving the value of the collectibles. And also, why is this important? Well, when you're buying these race cars or these other tires or other assets in the game, well, theoretically, these tokens are locked up. So they, those tokens can't be used. So there's a limited supply in the market, which causes, well, a price pump and price to go up. So guys, time will tell on this one. As always, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice in whatever way. This is just some goofball talking on the other end on another screen and telling you guys what I'm looking at, what are projects. Guys, you can lose all your money or you can win a bunch of money. This is not financial advice. You do you, I'm gonna do me. Um, yeah, <laughs> so they are fungible tokens. So one rev token always equals one rev. When you get to the NFTs or when you're buying the vehicles. Fun fact, the very first vehicle sold for like $220,000. Guys, a little digital vehicle, <laughs> crazy. So Delta time. So here's a couple of the tokens um, that you can actually use. So you can buy gear for your driver. So you can get a suit, a helmet, gloves, boots, Trinket, so what these do is when you buy these different assets, you can see how they basically make you better. Um, they have like points, like it makes you stronger, faster, quicker, makes your turns better and so on. So keep that in mind. And then also some of the items, they have like common, rare, epic, legendary. So you can add rarity to your assets and I'll explain it later in this uh, uh, white paper. So you have the car components, you have the tires, there's different types of tires. Because if it's raining out, you want to get wet tires. If it's dry out or if, it, if you're on the sand or if the road's hard or soft, you probably want to get different style treads. So it, it's all components. It's, it's almost like a strategic game. So it's not something that's like, oh, whatever. So you can also win these trophies. So you can choose to sell them for rev tokens or you can just keep them like an NFT asset. They are worth something. So in the game... Just like you in RuneScape, for example, um, a Rune Scimitar or like a Dragon Shield is worth something, but yet it's really just a, a, a pixelated image and it's worth nothing. But video games back then were like a proof of work model. So in order to get the stuff, well, you had to perform a lot of work, like to get a higher level or a higher strength, you had to spend a lot of time. So it's similar to Bitcoin. Think about it. So here's the um, 3D models. These are the models that they're mainly getting, and these are the 3D race car. These are most mostly what you're going to be getting when you're buying these um, assets. And then you have the rarity. We kind of explained that. Then you have the racing stats. So again, you can like boost your car, uh, boost this, boost that, make it up. Uh, it, it's it's cool. And then obviously you have um, a skill set. So there's a feature in the game where it it turns and does all that stuff for you but there's a feature in the game that actually adds a bit of skill to it. So instead of just juicing up your car, making it so fast, and they have a, a feature where it's gonna match like players or like cars with others. So it's not like you're gonna be racing against a super fast car um, and your car stinks because you don't have a lot of money to get the best of the best. So it, it's kind of gonna even that out, but there's a feature in it that allows you to control your braking and speed mechanism like we showed you on the video and if you time it just right on the turns, you're actually going to be faster than the other car and you'll have a better chance of winning. So really cool, really interesting. Um, yeah, that's, that's really all I need to show you guys for the most part. You guys can play around with it a bit. It is um, something that's online. Uh, guys, you kind of get the concept. I'm not really going to harp into it. Um, this is really what it is. And we're going to break down the token or the tokenomics. So here's the tokenomics. Um, this is for the rev token. 
uh, on F1 Delta time. So there's going to be uh, half a billion in the F1 Delta. Uh, 30 million is going to be used for staking. 200 million is for reserve. 20 million for promotion and almost 250 for in-game operations. So that's just for like the uh, Formula One. And you guys can see the rev token release schedule. This is just in general for all of the tokens on like the network. So uh, September 2023 is when a bunch of them are going to be released, uh, about 20%. But it's a steady growth rate, so it's not crazy. So this is just the token. So the reserve, which is not shown, will be utilized for other allocations for new titles added to the Rev ecosystem. So very smart to um, keep some money on the back burner just for uh, partnerships and growth and so on. So it's got that function in, in the back that still allows it for the pump. So you guys can see that this is a slow um, rate compared to others, which is good. I like that. So you got a reserve of 1.3 billion tokens. You have the DEX offering of 250 million. Team and Advisors, 300 million. Um, player Reward Reserve, 250 million. Uh, F1 Delta Time, 500 million. And the Moto G Project, which is 400 million. So a total of 3 billion. Guys, this is really cool. This is really interesting. If you guys haven't researched Anna Monica Brands, they have a lot of people on their team. Um, they, they have a lot of partnerships and they have a lot of... Guys, the, these guys are massive. They have a lot of people working with them. They, they know what they're doing. Um, just, just listen to several interviews uh, with the main guy. Ah, here's his name. Yatsu. Guys, don't forget Yatsu. He is boss. Go ahead and look, look at some of his articles. Listen to him. Genius guy. Really, really smart. I mean, here's something he's building too. It's the tower experiment. Gaming tokens and crazy defense heroes and crazy kings. Guys, this is also another token. I'm not really going to go over it much. But you guys can kind of understand the concept. It's it's crazy. So this guy, really, really smart. Um, I, I like the different tokens that he's launching and the different coins. So guys, I uh, hope I brought value to you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're going to leave you guys with a wisdom with a wisdom one line. So Proverbs chapter 27, verses 9. Perfume and incense bring joy to the heart. And the pleasantness of a friend springs from their heartfelt advice. So now what does this mean? Well, just like perfume and incense is going to bring happiness and um, smells good, feels good. You know how that is. Just like a friend, um, well, the pleasant pleasantness of a friend, it's basically going to say, oh man, this guy cares for me and it's going to make you feel good. So what that means is, guys, be friendly, be helpful, be caring, be loving. Thanks for watching guys. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and hit that bell notification. That way you guys can be ahead of the game every time we make a new video. All right guys, thanks for watching. And without you guys watching, I wouldn't keep doing these videos, but I'm hoping I'm helping you guys. If I am, smash that like button. Um, go ahead and get started with the triple threat. Go ahead and start with the Celsius account. Here's a referral link where you guys can earn $20 in BTC. Really awesome, set up a Celsius account, easy to use, and you get crazy interest rates on your Celsius account, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, you name it. The next one in the triple threat is a crypto.com account. Super easy to use, super easy to set up, really easy to buy and sell on it. I don't like how it doesn't have limit orders, but really easy to use. And here's another referral code for 25 bucks in CRO. Um, here's the referral link. A8GP, you guys can read it. But anyways, guys, a cool place to buy cryptocurrency on the go. Allows you to buy small altcoins, um, unlike Celsius. Celsius is more so like your bank account. And the third one, this one is a fun one, uh, Voyager. This one is more so where you can buy with limit orders. It doesn't have as many altcoins as crypto.com, but it's really easy to use, easy to set up. And yes, this one does come with a referral link as well. And you'll get $25 in BTC. Um, this is how you can do a limit order. Super easy to use. And they don't charge any trading fees whatsoever. Here's the referral link. You can't copy and paste it, but you can look in the description to copy and paste. And you can put that in and set one up. 25 bucks, free BTC. This is the funnest one though. Lolly, free. There is a referral link to this one too. 
I've actually won 100,000 sats one time on one of the uh, taps, which is worth like 100 bucks in Bitcoin. So it's crazy. Um, look, and there's even proof in the wallet. Look at that, daily stack, 101. Guys, set one up, it's really easy to do. Download a Lolly account and just set it up.